what up so i wanted to do some maintenance on the truck because i may be selling it very soon amir and that van have not left my mind so i wanted to do some general maintenance today i was gonna drive it to buy some oil some antifreeze but battery light is on i'm assuming the battery's finally dead i mean it's been a pretty brutal winter so i'm in the process of taking it out i actually wasn't going to make this video as you can see i kind of started already but i was like you know what let me show you guys i feel like it may be a hurdle to find a battery this size i know you can use like a marine battery and just change the terminals but i don't really want to go through all that i'm going to hope that i can just find a battery this size so first thing we're going to do is take the battery off all i gotta do is really just take this off um and the terminals that should be pretty easy let's take this battery off get that out of the way so I'm just gonna see if I go to like advanced auto parts. There's an auto zone by me. I'm gonna see if they have anything similar to this. And if so, we'll change the battery. I'll do an oil change. I'll flush out the radiator as well. And we'll just do some maintenance maintenance on the K-Truck just in case we do sell it. I want the next owner to be good. First stop, we're gonna get this exact battery. So you guys can screenshot that if you want. It's a buck 70 151R DLG. It looks exactly the same if you ask me pretty easy one stop 160 dollars 70 dollars kind of a lot in my opinion but it is what it is so i just seen a video um shout out to the homie from northeast right hand drive he just sent me a video of how to basically do it with a lawn battery like i was telling you guys that's only like 60 bucks and i'm gonna see if i maybe do that i feel like the only flaw in that is that the next owner the terminals would be super stretched out, but I guess you could just cut it and do it over. So I'm going to see right now. I'm going to really think about this because the battery was just $190 with tax. If I can get a lawn battery for $70 and save $120 and it does the same exact thing, uh, I think I'm going to go that route. So we're going to see. I'm going to think about it. Um, and we'll probably, the next clip will most likely be at Walmart. All right. So before I go to Walmart, I wanted to see because these look very large in comparison to this. So as you see, um, I would have to spread it out a lot for this to go over that. And if I'm gonna spread it out and do all that DIY, I might as well save $120 in the process. So what we're gonna do is drive to AutoZone, return this, and then hopefully Walmart, or maybe even AutoZone has a, a lawn and tractor one. All right, we're back inside AutoZone. They don't have that lawnmower battery. I think I'm gonna go straight to Walmart and not even try any car stores. So let's hope that Walmart has it. To be honest though, before I leave, I think this one would work. It's much thinner. Like, it, I don't know if you guys could realize, but look at that in comparison to that thick boy. But we're not gonna get it right now. We're gonna see if we can save a bunch of money because 200 bucks, not really trying to do that. $190 return later, we have just got to Walmart. Let's hope when we get inside, they have the battery. I'm kind of looking forward to doing this little DIY project because I see myself getting another K vehicle in the future. And I'm pretty sure the battery sizes are very similar. So let's find a parking spot and get on with the purchase all right so we just got to the battery section um these look like car batteries still motorcycle batteries nah we're not looking for this all right so we're now in the gardening and lawn section i still don't really see any batteries even similar but let me keep looking all right so now we're headed to our second auto zone not the same one as the first one because it didn't have that battery i checked i already called this one they said they had it so hopefully we can get it and hopefully it's like 60 bucks leaving AutoZone now there you have it 59.99 with tax it came out to 70 bucks not bad 120 dollars save let's hope the little modifications that i have to do aren't too crazy because this is looking like a come up so we made it back to the k-truck let's see how hard this is actually going to be i think sizing wise it's exactly the same yep fits perfectly um these are a little higher but they go down which is good I'm gonna now take these off, see if how hard, how much I have to stretch it, and hopefully it's one, two, three. Okay, so one issue I may have is I realized that this is my positive side. So the battery would have to go like this, and I would have to really push these in to fit like that. Because the battery isn't even all the way in, this is how it is, and that's where my terminals are. So like it would have to really bend like that for it to fit. Because the way I had it the other way, like this, would be perfect. Because as you see, boom boom but this is the negative side so that's a little more little little bendy action i have to do i'm gonna try to see what i what tools i have that i could now bend this with and like i said this should be really easy all right so the first thing i did was take my screwdriver and put it here basically and then what you want to do is just separate these two like let's get a little bit of space 
between these two right here because as you see they're basically stuck together so i'm gonna do that right now so as you see pretty easy now i'm gonna take this off this is why i said it's gonna be a little tricky because this one really didn't have to bend too much but this side i think is gonna have to be a heavy bend so i'm gonna try to push this in a little more as you see see how like it goes back there on the high jets it might be different for different trucks but i'm gonna push this in a little more and i'm gonna see if i can get it as far as back as possible because it can't be all the way up here the battery has to go this far back and that's where it naturally wants to be so i'm gonna try to figure that out right now so new battery is in nice and tight there you have it there you have it let's see if it starts definitely gonna die I feel it once I stop doing this it's gonna die watch one two three. Oh, I guess not all right nice um, I want to do an oil change but not gonna lie it's very cold now it's like 50 degrees it's like 30 I think I'm gonna just drive somewhere and have them do it for me so I'm almost at the oil change place I'm not gonna lie I do feel a little ripped off because I know I'm paying for five quarts of oil and seeing how this only takes three Let's say it's $50, it really should be like 30. But it is what it is, it's pretty cold outside and like I said, I'm not really in the mood to do an oil change. I did it before when I first got the truck and drained their coolant. Um, so let's see if they can do it. Maybe they can't even do it, let's just see right now. Basically my truck is not wide enough to go there. So honestly, maybe I'll just do it myself. All right, so I have to go back to the footage to see exactly what oil I needed because I did my oil change last year and it was the Fram PH4967. So I'm just gonna grab this. I'm going to grab some mobile 11030 high mileage and we're going to grab some antifreeze too and I'm just going to do my own oil change tomorrow because nobody wants to change my oil and F it I'll save some money just do it myself and show you guys how it's done. All right, so it's a few days later now. It's nice and sunny. I got shorts on. And in today's video, what I really want to complete is I want to drain out the coolant, which I've done before, very easy. Change the oil, again, very easy. I don't know if this is going to fit. Uh, the guy at Advanced Auto Parts this is the same as the Fram one that's on the truck right now, so we'll see. Um, and I also would like to maybe build or drill some holes here because, as you see, the batteries here haven't had any issues yet. Is this one loose? Oh, okay, haven't had any issues yet, but... It comes like this so this is basically the lock up here and it's obviously way too high as you can see the battery doesn't get that high so i want to see if i could maybe drill some holes here and redo it or something something so it isn't you know bouncing around back there but that's basically it this is everything you're going to use standard oil change so luckily with the k-track you don't really have to jack the car up to drain the coolant it is right here so as you see i don't need to jack the car up and the oil is right here so maybe i'll jack it up maybe i won't again i have some ground clearance to pull but we'll see what happens in a second let me um let me get my tools together so we're able to do this the easiest and cleanest way possible okay so laziness always wins if i didn't have a jack i wouldn't do it but i might as well just use this jack i paid for it first things first let's do the oil because that might be the most annoying coolant is really just one two three hey all right so moment of truth to see if this m1 103A fits. All right, so oil filter is now on. We're not sure if it's gonna leak yet, but now it's time to just drain this. This is as standard as any other car. You kind of just pull this out, turn it. You could use your hands, don't really need tools. Some pretty dirty. It's always been dirty, honestly. I, I flushed it like seven times when I first bought the truck. And it's the same exact color, which is pretty annoying, but pretty easy after this i'm gonna put some distilled water two times and we'll be done so as you see the battery cover is back on fits perfectly shout out to usps for giving us some cardboard oil has been changed three quarts of oil later coolant flushed this is all we have left so we're gonna recycle this the right way. As you saw the Ram, I believe it's the P967. That one fits for the high jet. And the mobile, I think it was 103 something. Go back in the video to see it. Coolant's really dirty, but thankfully we changed it. Um, and yeah, let's drop this bad boy down. Start her up. But the truck is sounding much better. I think it's a fan of this warm weather and the fact that it now has new blood. That's the end of this video. We changed the battery. 
We changed the oil, we changed the coolant, and the K-Truck is ready to go. Maybe for sale very soon. So if you're interested, maybe hit me up. I'm not sure yet. Jill, is that you? 